governor, president, adu wakati uduma. Amo kira hii gazo shito. Tuna shukuru sana. Na kazi yetu ni kumfajia kazi. Hii maneno ya kahawa majani chai tutasota out. Leo wa subuhi tumekuwa na mkutano na rais. Na Milas tukijaribu kutakuongea na hawa vile tutateremusha bei ya unga. Then tukiwa hapo ikaingia maneno ya animal feeds. Your excellence hao ni wakulima ya ngombe na nguruwe na kuku. Si ni kweli? Na iko juu sana. Na rais ameniagiza ni kuwe na mkutano na hawa Milas ya Animal Feeds tujaribu kutafuta suluhisho so that we can bring the cost of production down ndio muweze kupata haki yenu kwa hivyo ningetaka kumhakishia ya kwamba everything is going on nikimalizia your excellency ile mzee ya madamano saa hii anaendelea na mkutano unajua hii mzee ametuumiza alikuja karibu serikali yetu unga ilikuwa na ite ikapanda mpaka tuthate Mali yetu nyamakema ikaambia uhuru wa chome. Mambo watu wakina mamboi hawa akaambia uhuru wa shike hawa anyang'anya hao mali yao. Sisi tukamsamea hiyo maneno yote. Sasa shida tulishidwa tu kumsamea ni moja. Kuroga mtoto wetu. Sasa tumesikia wameongea pale. Ile dada yetu ya kichuku anaongea tu hii mzee amekoroka yeye tena. So we are saying Uyu mzee atasubua Kenya for how long? Na mimi nilimwambia uhuru rafiki yangu. Sibuli kwa nilikuwa apie uhuru. I sat him down. Kamwambia your excellency. Hii barabara nataka kupeleka sisi ni ngumu. Watu wetu hawezikubali. Na huyu mzee boss hawezi badilika. Akasema hapana hii mtu amebadilika amekuwa mzuri. Nikamwambia hii mtu tangu zamani akiingia pahali anaharibu aliingia kwa serikali ya Moi aliharibu wako haribu akaingia kwa Kebake aliharibu wako haribu akaingia Uhuru aliharibu wako haribu sasa ati analete fujo ndio wanaongea pale nimetumiwa message ati anataka atiaingie kwa hii serikali ya huyu rais wetu <laughs> eh si rais wako hapa mungetaka tumkaribishe ama aende akiendaga unajua aambiwe you can fool some people sometime but you cannot fool all the people all the time hiyo maneno yake tunaijua na wanapiga kelele pale wanasema ati unga iko juu sisi tukiingia tulikuta iko juu kama ilikuwa chini si yeye alikuwa na uhuru kwa serikali si uhuru alisema ndio mshauri yake sasa anatukemea ati iko juu yeye hawa ndio walipandisha unga sasa nasema ati Eddie alishida uchaguzi ati hapa kwa mlima ati dio alikuwa namba moja. Sasa mimi nimesikiza hiyo mzee naona iko shida pahali. I think we need some help. Kwanza huyo dada yetu vile anaongea Waiguru I don't know what you do. Our sister eh she is at some eh iko maneno. Iko iko maneno. Si unaelewa? Kwa ile shida ilifanyika kwa bozi yetu inaonekana tena iko shida. But I want to say your excellency We have assured you we are there wewe umefanya kazi yako. Tutengenezea uchumi, tengeneza kilimo, tengeneza biashara ukisaidiwa nao mawaziri. Hii maneno ya hiyo mzee na dada yetu uachie sisi kuna vile tutabiana na hao along the way. Lakini wewe stay focused, have your eyes on the ball, deliver the economic transformation of this country and God will bless you. Ngiri kiadwa ito